Let's talk about all the phase one clone troopers for this episode of Minifig a Minute. And we're just going to talk about the grunts for this one, none of the specialties. So the first one we've got is the episode two. Came out in the Republic gunship as well as the ATTE. And there was four in each set. It's currently worth about 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Now this next one we have has the dark bluish gray antenna. Came out in the 2008 Republic attack gunship and he's worth about $13. And then this next style has the black antenna. Came out in the clone turbo tank from 2010. He's worth about $11. Moving on from there, we've got the clone trooper clone wars head. And this is the most common one. Starting off with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive as well as the ATTE Walker. The Republic fighter tank from 2008. The Separatist Spider Droid, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive from 2009, as well as this other San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Came out in the Clone Walker Battle Pack, as well as the AAT from 2009, and the Republic Attack Shuttle from 2009. He also appeared in this Polybag from 2009, the Republic Dropship with ATOT, and this book. It's currently worth about 10 bucks. Even though he appeared in all those sets, still 10 bucks. This one's the exact same as the previous, except it has Anakin's head. Came out in this set, and he's currently worth about $16. Moving on from there, we've got simply entitled Clone Trooper. Came out in the Clone Troopers vs. Droidicas from 2013, the Republic Assault Ship and Planet Coruscant, Corporate Alliance Tank Droid, Homing Spider Droid, and the 2013 Advent Calendar. It's currently worth about $9. After that, we've got the episode two with the printed legs. Came out in this battle pack from 2018. He's worth about $13. And then the most recent one we've got is the printed legs and boots. Came out in this blister pack from 2022. He's worth about seven bucks. So if you have all these minifigs, you got about $108.